For armyworm, scientific name Spodoptera frigipeda smith is a voracious caterpillar that feeds on corn plants, causing extensive damage to leaves and ears. Fall armyworm arrived in Africa in 2016 and then immediately spread all the way across Africa and, and reached uh, Australia by 2018. So this is an important pest of cereals, especially maize. And so we developed this project to work on um, fall armyworm because obviously it threatened the income and food security of, of smallholder farmers across sub-Saharan Africa. Current pest management practices often rely heavily on the use of chemical pesticides. However, the overuse of pesticides can lead to resistance in full armyworm populations, harm beneficial organisms, and have negative impacts on the environment. Spraying foods without proper protective clothing is dangerous, as it exposes farmers to high levels of toxic chemicals. This is where Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, comes into play. IPM is a holistic and sustainable approach to pest management that combines a set of techniques to reduce pest populations while minimizing the use of pesticides. It involves three key steps, prevention, monitoring, and control. IPM starts off with how well you manage the crop. Do you uh, use resistant seeds or use improved varieties for the cultivation? Do you have a diversified crop that is there in the farm? Are you doing simple cultural practices on the farm, like for instance, uh, regular monitoring of the pest in the, in the farm, and also trying to build the resilience of the crop by maintaining the landscapes effectively. So that is the base on which uh, we would like to conserve the various natural means of the individual pest. And the conservation is by reducing pesticide sprays. That's the first one. Once you spray pesticide, most of the natural means are lost. Uh, how effectively we manage the cropping system is important. For instance, uh, if you grow a crop alone in the farm, it is more susceptible to pest attacks. While if you grow a crop with different other crops, like what we'd call as intercropping, the crop has a kind of resilience against insect pests that can affect the crop. Apart from that, we have to regularly rotate the crop. And what this does is it maintains the soil fertility. Because if you continuously grow a same crop, the soil fertility gets lost. So such practices helps in the resilience of the cropping system. By implementing preventive measures, farmers can reduce the likelihood of serious fall armyworm infestations, avoiding late planting, using crop rotation, intercropping with legume crops, and planting early maturing corn varieties can disrupt the pest life cycle and reduce its survival. Some of the technologies that were detected the first is diversification. One of them is the push-pull technology, which was developed by ECPA 30 years ago to control stembora and striga wheat. But we found at the same time that the same technology is controlling the fall armyworm. Huge diversity of natural enemies, including parasitoids and predators. Some of them have been detected already here in Zambia. Parasitoids that attack the eggs of the fall armyworm. Some attack the larvae. But at the same time, we have also uh, predators that are preying on the larvae of uh, the fall armyworm. In addition to that, there are also diseases such as viruses, bacteria, as well as fungus. We have been able as an institution to develop some technologies, fungal-based products that can be used as a pesticide to control the fall amium. Among many other technologies, we should not also ignore farmers' practice, such as the use of beams, lantern camera, mechanical control, as well as the use of sand. All these technologies together help to suppress or to reduce at least the damage of this fall amion because at the end of the day, we need to protect food security. IPM promotes the use of biological control provided by natural enemies like parasitoids, predators, and pathogens to manage fall armyworm populations. Populations of natural enemies can be augmented by managing farms for diversity, such as by protecting borders of native trees alongside feuds. Farmers can also make use of hand-picking or biological pesticides derived from naturally occurring substances to target for armyworm, such as neem. If pest damage is severe and other methods have been ineffective, chemical pesticides can be used as a last resort. It's very important that you choose the right molecule that is less toxic for spray. You uh, spray only when it is needed 
not every time a calendar spray and more importantly to protect our citizens. And also avoiding polluting the environment and also affecting uh, the consumers because at the end of the day the main consumed and some of these chemicals might be harmful to our health. Four Amiwim is here to stay. But an attack by four Amiwim isn't the end of the world. What people should understand right now is that you will find four Amiwim in pretty much every single field. But the truth is most of them are causing very, very limited damage. Uh, maize is, has a very high capacity to recover from leaf damage. So if they're just eating some leaves and then the population is not exploding, then the pest is not really not doing any damage. The farmers must scout their fields and they need to scout them regularly, like every week or every two weeks, to see whether the situation is getting worse. The light damage across many plants is simply nothing to worry about. It won't cause any serious yield loss. With IPM, farmers can effectively and sustainably manage for armyworm and other pests while preserving their crops and protecting their own health and that of the environment. It's a win-win solution that promotes low-cost, sustainable farming practices and ensures a brighter future for generations to come. I can spray any spray any chemical, but I can spray any chemical. I can spray any chemical, but I can spray any chemical. I can spray any chemical, but I can spray any chemical. I can spray any chemical, but I can spray any chemical. I can spray any chemical, but I can spray any chemical. I can spray any so, Zangabadimi, TN and Chiteko got to take one sustained a crop, cow peas, beans, milisumu, Tizanka and Akukoro Rakabi. Start implementing IPM for four army worm today and reap the benefits to your pocket. Protect your crops today and preserve our planet for future generations.